Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Shade Colour. Mother's Day is just around the corner and we want to be ready and have something wonderful ready for mum or for someone who's been like a mum to us in our lives. And today we've prepared for you a different plate topper. This one is in cool colours and rather match the earlier placemat that we demonstrated in another tutorial. So the colour palette that you choose is really up to you. You may like things in the purple shades, you might like things in the pink shades, or perhaps you like the cool colours that are demonstrated here. And then we're going, the one that we're going to do today, we're actually looking at a warm tone, so it's quite different. This one has pinks and purples almost a traditional Mother's Day concept really and very very simple to do. First of all we need to go to the website and for those of you who haven't visited us before that's our website. If you go there you'll find there are downloads and there's also pages on inspiration, a nine minute teaching DVD, everything you need to know about the fabulous product that came third in the world, Flipters by Easy Shade Colour. As well as having um, the tutorials, we also have a Facebook, Twitter and blog at the bottom of the, the home page of Easy Shade Colour. And if you go onto the Facebook site, it would be wonderful if you could like, like us because some 26,000 people, or going on probably for 27 and a half, have now seen the DVDs we've made in just the last four days. If you've been one of them, thank you so much for watching. Now, how do we achieve this lovely warm look that we have as our plate topper? Well, first of all, we need to download from the website our template. And here it is. So you can see that you have a lot of opportunity to use whatever colour you would like. You'll notice when we've cut it out, we've used the point of the coronet, it almost looks like a coronet, as our line, our guideline to cut on. On this one that I've started for you over here, I've already used my applicator and my purple colour to do this edge. And if you feel happier using a pencil for that, I can understand that. And we've done the burgundy for the other colours. Again, if you want to use pencil, by all means, go ahead and use what you're comfortable with using in small areas. For the name, Happy Mother's Day, we did outline that with pencil. Now I'm going to show you how we coloured it and how easy it is to use your applicator and your colours to do it. So we're taking a nice pink and we're going to pop the pink down here so I have access to a, an amount of it. Then I'm taking my applicator. In the actual theme pack, the pink comes with a white applicator, but I just find the coloured applicators are a little firmer to use, and that's why I'm choosing to use that to do my colouring. It's such a simple way and very easy on the wrists for anyone who has a weak wrist and for anybody whose hand is unsteady it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines because we're going to put a pale pink background on our topper. So just a little dab on and as I said going outside the lines with this is no great drama because I'll blend that in when I do the background pink colour. It will be muted and what appears to be a mistake won't be even seen. So any excess colour that I have I'm going to brush it to one area 
to the pile down here and you can see in quite a few places I've gone over the line but as I mentioned to you that is no great drama. I'm unscrewing the lid something that we only do when we're looking to save colour. I'm inserting the funnel and then I'm going to pop the excess pink back into the container. And this is how you get such a long life from your product. If I should happen to knock over the whole thing it will stay together. This is used in hospital schools by the disabled people and it, it came third in the world because it can be used by mainstream and disabled people. A good firm click ensures that the lid is closed. Please don't take any notice of that appearing to be a mistake. I'm then taking my paler pink and I'm going to put it all over the image to give it a real Mother's Day pink glow. Now your mum may prefer the cool colours but you'll know her taste. A lot of our work has already been done by children and we tend to get inspiration from them. We see what they've chosen to do and we try and imitate their work because we want this to be uh, have a child look about it and yet on, at the same token also looking something that you would, you would feel very special to give your mum on Mother's Day. Now I was a bit heavy handed with the pink but I can save that right back with my funnel blending it in saving it back with the funnel shame I demonstrated this earlier I've got a lot more to put back in now but it's just to prove we waste absolutely nothing. All our colour saved. And then we're going to give the whole image a light spray with um, a craft glue adhesive that you probably already have in your craft cupboard. So just a light spray. And I like to do this outside where possible because most of these sprays do have fumes attached to them. And then I'll put my shimmer on before I cut it out. So just a light dusting of shimmer. Now if you're not a fan of shimmer, use a, a very cheap hairspray to keep your work clean, especially if it's going onto the table. And so we have it finished. And where those mistakes were, uh, or where I'd gone out of the line, you'll see it doesn't really show up. It's not important. These colours blend beautifully with one another. So there's no great drama. So once again, the finished product looks like this. Your lovely Mother's Day plate topper. Have fun, everyone. Bye.